This veggie sandwich is filled with layers upon layers of delicious, healthy vegetables. It's absolutely addicting. Let's make it. You're going to start by slicing your heirloom tomatoes in nice, thick slices. These tomatoes are very meaty and juicy. A half inch slice is ideal for this sandwich. Look how juicy and beautiful these are. Then we're going to slice our cucumber. I like to be fancy and slice my cucumber at an angle. I'm also using an English cucumber because they're nice and crisp. Then we're going to slice our red onion. Red onion is perfect for this sandwich. And also we're going to slice some avocado. Avocados are my favorite. When it comes to using lettuce, I like the green leafy lettuce because it's absolutely beautiful. And it also has a softer texture than iceberg, but feel free to use the lettuce of your choice. We're going to chop our herbs for our cream cheese. This is fresh parsley, also some dill, and then some green onion. And this is the easy way to chop these. You just ball them up in one tight ball and then you start chopping. Let your knife do the work. These fresh herbs is going to make our cream cheese spread delicious. To this cream cheese spread, we're going to season it. We're going to add some pepper, and then we're also going to add some garlic powder. I am using whipped cream cheese because it's nice and airy and it's going to be easy to spread on our sandwich. All right, let's build this sandwich. Sandwich construction is very important. We want to layer this so everything stays in the sandwich and the sandwich does not fall apart when you bite it. We're going to start with putting our cream cheese spread on both slices of bread. Go ahead and load it up. It's delicious and we want that flavor. After our cream cheese spread has been laid down, we're going to add a really nice thick piece of cheese. I am using dill harbardi. You can use cheddar, Swiss, whatever you like. Then we're going to load up our avocados. So we're putting the soft elements together so they can stick and not fall off the sandwich. After you add your avocado, it is time to load it up with some red onion. When it comes to eating onions raw, red onions are perfect. They add a delicious bite to this sandwich. Now it's time for those gorgeous tomatoes. These tomatoes act like the meat, in my opinion. Then we're going to put our beautiful leafy lettuce on top. This sandwich is stacking up right before our eyes. Now it's time to add those crisp cucumbers. These cucumbers is going to give it that nice crunch that we all love in a sandwich. And then we're going to top these cucumbers off with some beautiful sprouts. Now these are broccoli sprouts. You can use any type of micro herb that you like, but I love the broccoli sprouts. They have a really good flavor. Now, we have to season this. These are a lot of vegetables. We're going to season with salt and pepper. Then we're going to load this up with some mayo. I am using an Asian mayonnaise, which is absolutely scrumptious. And last but not least, we're going to add some brown mustard to give it that tanginess that we need. This sandwich is ready to be devoured. Here it is. Here is our finished product. Look at that. Look at all those beautiful, fresh layers. It's nice and crisp and creamy. This veggie sandwich is addicting. Bon appetit. Enjoy while you eat.